And some of the smartest young minds in the Midwest are over in Detroit today at Cobo Center. And they're competing in the first ever CSTEM competition. Our Nick Monticelli is live at Cobo Center where this is all taking place. And Nick, you've met some really interesting, very smart students. What have they got planned for us now? Priya, so all morning I've been talking to students, basically high school age, making me feel like a complete dummy. Now you're going to talk to fourth graders and seventh graders. So if you don't feel inadequate mentally, now you will. This is Kayla Young. She's a fourth grader at Detroit Edison. She is part of the C STEM competition. And Kayla, you guys have built a robot. What were you supposed to do with this? Well, what we're supposed to do with the robot is drive it and try to win the competition trophy. And we, um, hot. We build it with all types of um, batteries to make it work, and we, we're going into the VEX competition to win the trophy. So obviously you have somebody, a uh, mentor helping you, but you guys do a lot of this work yourself, right? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Kayla, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to switch gears over here to the geoscience portion of things, and our anchor, Priya Mann, you're going to love this girl. Her name is Priya as well. Priya, one of the great things about this is that you're finding ways to move energy in different Way. So over here is a uh, the windmill. We're, we're used to that, right? The the wind spins the the, uh, the windmill and powers our house or whatever. The geoscience stuff is really uh, interesting too. Can you tell me what you have here? Okay, so here is the copper, and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is actually contributing sound. Okay, I'll, I'll put the microphone over there real quick. And this is all because of the copper. So if we was to unhook the copper. Oh, the sound goes away. Yes, and this is also true of zinc. With zinc, you said? Yes. And so you're looking at different ways to essentially transfer and store energy using the Earth's materials? Yes. And you can use copper, you can use zinc. You're looking at this. You've got some biofuel stuff here, too? Yes. Ecotech has really been working on alternative energies. That's how we got the wind turbine, and this is how we're actually powering a source, Mechani mechanical energy is stored. Chemical energy, right? Chemical, yes. Chemical, and then it's turned into energy. That is unbelievable. Priya, thank you so much. You are so smart, and I am not. If you want to come down here and see the way smart kids come down to Cobo Hall, the event is going on from 8 until 5 o'clock today. Absolutely free to check out these kids. Priya, Rod, that is a 7th grader and a 4th grader talking about chemical energy, alternative energy, and robots, and I'm just on TV talking. What what happens? Well, Nick, I gotta say, my parents are watching. Finally, a Priya who knew something about science. They will be so proud. Please. I told. Help. I told. I said Priya Man is gonna be very happy about this. But there's another Priya equally as smart. Oh, I don't know about that. She takes the cake. Thank you so much, Nick. <laughs>